Hello everyone, this is our next video of 14A Tennessee 4 series and in this video we are going to perform a lab for 14A on transparent mode. So let's understand the topology and then we can for the lab. So in this topology, this is the 14A and currently is this 14A is in the transparent mode. Port number 2 is connected to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and is port number 3 is connected to the 0 slash 1 so I have defined this network as a LAN network zone and this network as a DMZ network zone so in the real environment like could be the one side would be your WAN and another side would be your LAN or it could be DMZ or it could be your local local any segmented zone so it depend on the requirement but the overall concepts will be the same so let's begin for the implementation. So I have logged in the 14 it already. So we can see this is this 14 it is currently on the NAT mode. So it is mentioned here. So let me access this 14 it on the CLI. So there is also command get system status to check the all like a status of the 14 it. So we can see, we can see this will be the status here. We have that version or firmware of the 40 kit. Here we have the operation mode is net. It is mentioned. And current virtual domain is root. It is there. And that database update virus extreme AV IPS serial number of the 40 net so every essential information of the 40 get it is available by using get system status command to change the mode we need to go to config system settings config system setting uh, so we are going to configure a system setting here we have to define set up mode transparent and the set manage IP. So as I already explained you in the theory sessions that we need to define a one management IP. This management IP will use to access this 14 net firewall. And without this IP, we cannot complete our operation mode change process. So set gateway 192.168.0.1 and it. So end means that we have applied the command and it will save so now it is saying changing to tp mode so it means that the operation mode from nat it is going to change transparent mode so let close it and refresh it so we have to type the 240 ip address we just set it so 192 1680.240. So this IP address we just set during the change of transparent mode. Now I'm going to access this again 14 it firewall and now we can see this mode is now transparent mode. Earlier it was NAT mode, now it is changed to the transparent mode. So first part is complete. So we have successfully changed from net to transparent mode what i will do i will do port i will define port 2 as a this port 2 as a van zone and port 3 as a line zone so let's perform the configuration so go to the network network interfaces so we have to define this port 2 so port 2 is this and here we have an option to set a rule. Here uh, don't have option. So let's say there is another way to set a rule. So some operating system Fortinet OS it is not supported. So there is another way. Config system interface and then edit port 2 and we have to type so say if we type so then it will say the what is currently applied command so we have to say set a role what will be the role this port to 
this will be the van so if i question mark we can get the rule this is the rule set rule uh, set rule van so now we have defined this port 2 as a van now i will go next and i will type this port 3 as a lan so here i will say set edit port 2 edit port 2 and here we have to define set rule and then if i do the question mark definitely we will get it lan so the configuration is done we have defined this port 2 as a van and port 3 as a lan if we want to verify this configuration then again we have to go the interface settings so, so config system interface and then edit port 2 and then we have to define so command and we can see this so set rule lan and this is for port 2 and uh, we are in port 2 and what about the port 3 i think it should be van set rule van now let's try yeah this is not correct port 2 is having a rule of van and next set uh, then again edit edit port 3 edit port 3 and here we have to define here we have change it is the port 3 yes it is the port 3 and now it is not defined set role lan now type so it is there and now it is complete so we define the roles on the for on the interfaces level so let's refresh this page so we defined we have changed the interfaces uh, mode uh, first we change the firewall mode from net to transparent and then we have in a, we have assigned the mode it means that van mode or lan mode that basically we called as a role so we defined the role van and lan so the command of this uh, fortinet is simple config system interface if you want if we want to perform any changes related to the interface then edit edit means that we want to modify the particular interface which interface port 1 2 3 4 let's take port 2 so in our case let's port 2 this will be the port 2 set so then if we type so then we can see the output so this is the basically how 40 os command prompt is working so in the upcoming videos i will made a separate videos for 14 8 commands how we will like a simplest way to understand this clis so if we type next so next means that we are moving to another cell edit what need to be done then port 3 so this will be the port 3 edit then if we type so command here we will see the set rule if we want set anything we can set and all commands will be available so i will make a separate video on this uh, interface configuration on the upcoming videos now two thing is completed now the final thing will be the we need to allow the communication from port 2 to port 3 so i just create the here we will say port 2 to port 3 so van to lan so van to lan so this is the kind of name and nomenclature incoming interface Tra <coughs> from where traffic will come it will come from port 2 so incoming will be the port 2 where traffic is going this will be the port 3 outgoing will be the port 3 so this will be the port 3 what will be the sources this will be the sources so we can create a objects what will be the objects will define network so i will cover this thing also of the addresses and uh, policies so 
for this video let's keep it 192.168.2.0 this is the network and i have to create a 192.168.2.0 slash 24 so this network i have created i have applied on the source section and what will be the destination the destination will be the 1.0 so create a network there we have to define the network 192.168.2.0 1.0 if we want to assign any color we can assign it 192.168.1.0 slash 24 that is done so we define the destination 220 from port to the direction will be from port to the port 3 source will be this network and uh, now from my case, I am allowing all services and let's allow the sessions and OK. So this is from port 2 to port 3. Let's create a one more policy from port 3 to port 1. So that we call as a LAN to WAN. So this will, this will become from LAN to WAN as per the defined role on the interfaces and here what will be the incoming interface this will be the incoming interface port 3 what is going port 2 so you have to select the port 2 source then this network will be the source 1.0 so 1.0 and the net destination network will be the 2.0 so this will be the 2.0 and then I define the all services and apply OK. And apply. This is the logs I have enabled. And uh, I will cover this is your detailed in the upcoming videos. So no worry about it. So let's try to open these routers and see what is having actually. This is the LAN client. So IP interface brief. So we will see that it is working as expected or we need to troubleshoot or kind of that enable so ip interface brief 1.0 and let me try to 2.0 let's try to ping 192.168.1.10 So it is pinging or not. As of now, it is not. Yeah, it is pinged. So these three packets got for the ARP resolution. Those are from those are from routing switching. They understand. 192.168.2.10. So we can ping both sides. Now let's verify some verifications. Yeah, we can see this. Both rule has been utilized yeah we can see the last used is the 28 second ago and this is the hit which is clearly visible on the 14 8 and second second rule it is also visible the 29 second ago and it is the utilization i can go the traffic let me see the traffic is showing or not as of now it is not showing Anyways, but from the policy verifications, from the policy side, we can clearly see the traffic is processed and let's try to perform a telnet. So telnet 192.168.2.10. This is 0 and 123. So I am on the LAN client and so IP interface brief. So I have performed the telnet session from 2.10 to 1.10 this or uh, let me see that yeah sorry this is the session from 1.10 to 2.10 currently i am in 2.10 this is the ip address and if i 
type who then we'll get the who is accessing this so we are accessing from the 1.10 and then after that i will try to perform a telnet on other side so from 1.10 i am able to access so now we disconnected from 2.10 let's try to access from 2.10 to 1.10 telnet 192 168 1.10 we are able to access okay i need to type i have typed the wrong username so i am on the dmg hash if i say ip address so definitely we are having the 1.10 this is the ip address and if i say who who is trying to access this we will get the ip address of 2.10 so 2.10 so both side communications is working fine and uh, on the 40 net transparent mode so let me see the other thing also what is that so from the policy perspective it is successfully communicating and we can see the logs and uh, from the second policy it is also successfully working so let me summarize uh, what we have did we first we create a fortinet on the transparent so the command will be the uh, i will pay i will paste all commands on the description of this video and the, to changing the trans to changing the mode below is the command config system settings and then we have to say the set opt mode then here you have to define set opt mode and with the transparent and after that we have to define the management ip it will change so and after that we have to define the lan or van of the interfaces or dmg it is required or based on the direction and uh, then last point will be the create a policy whatever needs to be allowed and after that we can proceed for the testing so this was the video related to the 48 on the transparent mode i hope you enjoyed it very well if you enjoyed please hit the like button and subscribe the firewall experts for this kind of videos thanks for watching firewall experts